Can we use a camcorder with magnifying lens to inspect PCB repair? That's what we're going to find out in this episode. Having an inspection microscope is very important, especially when replacing or repairing very close solder connections with small electronic components. In the following video, we'll demonstrate a repair done to a PCB out of a portable device before powering it up. But, since we had no way of inspecting the solder joints, came to the idea of installing a 10 times magnification lens to the camera that we already had to check repair for a bridge connection loose solder balls, cleanliness of the board, etc. Here is the camera with a magnifying lens installed. Definitely is very close up to the real size of the chip and as you can see uh, I'm separating the solder joint that was created when uh, replacing a power chip. Or a power manager that's uh, to manage the charge of the battery and uh, powering up this device. Uh, it worked really good. It's just that if you see in the corners of your screen, you can see that they are blur. There, there is some distortion. Uh, the closer you get to whatever you're trying to uh, get to, and then they're uh, looking around, searching, uh, you know, trying to see if the camera keeps its focus and it does real good and there you can see that uh, I found the loose solder balls uh, from when I applied solder paste to uh, the area and the idea worked uh, very good it uh, stood up. Uh, there is some shakiness from the tripod. It's, remember, you are magnifying it 10 times, so uh, any move yet you do near the tripod or the camera is going to reflect in the in the recording or in the, in the footage or the image you are seeing. So it's a good idea to uh, have a good, if you're going to do so, a uh, good tripod uh, and uh, try to uh, Place the camera in a in a way that is it is not uncomfortable for you to work with. Uh, in my case, I was working behind the camera, and that's why it's so shaky. But uh, it, it it got the job done. There I'm still searching for uh, loose solder balls or uh, and also inspecting for the cleanliness. I've cleaned, I cleaned the board a couple times with 91% uh, alcohol. Uh, and to the naked eye it seems that it's clean but taking a closer look you see that there are solder balls and uh, and flux around the capacitor there in that corner there I'm trying to remove a solder ball uh, for that repair I used the wrong uh, flux 
I was supposed to use uh, non-clean flux, but I took the wrong flux, and well, that's the the results there. That it's, it's going to get under everything. It's going to be sticky and hard to clean up, especially under those small components. Once you apply heat, it will liquefy, get under there, and it will it will be a very hard thing to clean up. You see that there is a, a messy goo of a flux. That I thought I cleaned up good, but there are uh, the evidence that, that it did not clean it up. I did not clean it up uh, as it was supposed to be. There I am again with uh, the X-Acto knife, trying to remove as much uh, flux as possible without removing the solder mask, and uh, recovered uh, the, the walls that went under there. Doing a second pass of the area, as you can see there, I was testing for the readability of, of the components. How close I could get to the component to see, um, well, the, the lettering and, and such. As you can see there, I did a little bit of a scratch in the track and in the solder mask. It did not go in to the copper. In the with the naked eye, that does not show. But when you do the magnification thing, well, definitely it has, has a, a very good impression there. I'm very happy with the quality of the image, so definitely that's uh, even, though it's, even though it's not the best option, it's the most economical option if you already have a camera that you can uh, screw uh, a magnifying lens in. So if you really don't do this kind of work every day, it's a good uh, alternative to have a camera with a magnifying lens in front of it. But if you do this every single day, your best bet is to get a proper inspection microscope. And those are going very, uh, not cheap, but their prices are starting to get down. I found on, uh, on AliExpress, there is a 300 something dollar microscope with all the lenses, it's no name, but by the reviews I've seen, they are it, it's good quality. So I hope you liked the video. If you have ideas, opinions, comments, just leave it in the comment section down below. And I see you next time.